Today, Mike would like to take an air experience flight in a helicopter for fun and also to impress friends. Mike saw a leaflet on discovering helicopter flying and booked a flight with Ari, the pilot. Mike said to Ari that it was nice to meet him in person. He would like to take a sensational helicopter experience flight today and he heard that Ari is the best. He'd like to experience and film what a top pilot like Ari can perform in a helicopter and replay the film on his smartphone and post it on social medias to impress friends. It will be the first time in a helicopter. He is very excited. Ari said to Mike to pay attention to the safety briefing. Being in a helicopter is not like being in a car. He said that the helicopter is a very versatile machine that can be flown for a lot of different operations and land almost anywhere. No need for a runway like for an airplane. I would like my customer to enjoy the flight, give him information about how to fly the helicopter and the environment in which we fly. My customer has just asked me to get closer to the cliff so that he can take better pictures. I would like to satisfy his request, but I must respect minimum separation with the cliff to minimize the risk of collision, avoid aerodynamic threats, and keep this flight safe. This time, my customer asked me to fly close to the bridge for fun and to take more sensational pictures. I must refuse. Flying close to or below a bridge is against regulations. For safety reasons, I must keep minimum separation with obstacles. My customer just insisted, saying that nobody would see us. He is also suggesting that I don't have the competence or the guts to fly close to a bridge. I answered that I would like to keep my pilot license, that I have nothing to prove to anybody. I also told my passenger why this maneuver would endanger the flight. Good! My customer was finally satisfied with his first helicopter flight. He wanted something sensational to share with friends. I offered him something sensational and safe. A selfie with Ari Vatanen. He thanked me warmly and apologized for making risky requests, putting pressure on me and putting us both at risk. He got the message eventually and promised to promote his pilot Ari on social media. Creating a fun experience for passengers shouldn't put lives at risk. It is your responsibility to resist passenger pressure and fly safely. Be professional. Don't accept risk just to please your passengers or show that you can do it. Brief your passengers before the flight to help manage their expectations and save them putting pressure on you when in the air. Share the joy of flying safely. How often do you take risk to please customers or friends?